Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. It is the last Friday of 2022. Today is Friday, December 30th and oh my goodness, I can't believe the year's gone by so fast and yet in a way I can. And I don't know how you feel if you're looking forward to the new year, but I think I am. I, I guess I am. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you. What do you do on, um, on New Year's Eve? Let's see who we have watching here today. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you're here today. Thank you for stopping by both my YouTube people and my Facebook people. Good evening, Marsha Long from Texas. Um, we're, we're not big New Year's Eve people. So New Year's Eve is tomorrow night and I can't even remember the last time we've been out on a New Year's Eve. It's been a long time. We're kind of quiet people. We just stay home and watch the ball drop from, from our TV. <laughs> Good to see you, Marsha. And Cindy Reed, hello. Good to see you. Um, yeah, we're just kind of quiet people. But it does allow for, personally, since we don't really do anything, it, it allows for a nice long weekend of uh, getting caught up on things, kind of getting the house organized after the holidays, right? Carol Schaefer, good to see you from Connecticut. I hope you guys are all having better weather. We are having rain here. Yeah, and we need it so much, and it's supposed to rain all weekend, so we're really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be nice, and the plants are loving it. Um, the mountains are loving it. It's so good for us. We really need it. Tammy, good to see you. Roz, good to see you. New York is not a big deal for us. We go to bed at, oh, New Year's. You go to bed at 10. Cindy, yes. You know, I guess it's different when, we, when we're when we not young whippersnappers anymore. It's just kind of different. But it is going to be a new year, and so that's going to be something nice. That's going to be a nice thing. Um, don't forget to put prize if you want a prize. Anthony, good to see you. Happy New Year to you when it's time. Um. Yeah, put down the word prize because the, not the prize I'm giving away today. I've already chosen that from those of you. It's actually been two weeks since I've been on a Friday. It was the 16th because the last time was the 23rd and I canceled it because there was a lot going on for Christmas. Um, so that prize, I've already you know chosen the person, but the prize I'm going to give away a week from today that you are going to, you enter by putting prize today either on YouTube or Facebook. It's a good one. It's a good one. I, I, I'm breaking my rules of easily mailable, although it's not, it's not that uneasy to mail, but it's a good prize. Just saying. So put the word prize if you're interested. Yes, definitely put that. Minda, aloha. Good to see you, Minda. So we have stuff to talk about today. Um, you know what's happening right after the first of the year, January 5th. So I'm going to put Ellie down because I have a really big fun thing to show you, okay? So starting January 5th um, is the um, release of the new spring catalog, January through May catalog, the mini we call it, the I call it the spring mini. And there's something very exciting that's going to be available starting January 1st. It's the, it's the biggest item. And I got one and I have to show you guys. So you know that I really love my little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? I do love it. Well, guess what? Dun, 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 dun. A blue one. Isn't it so cute? I have to say I wish it was pink. It would have made me happier, but I'll take blue. And the blue is a new color. It's like a, it's like a, they've let us know early one of the new colors in the annual catalog starting in May, I think. And it's boho blue. So you guys, 
I want you to see the debut of the Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. Is this guy so darling? Oh my goodness, and we're going to use it today. We are going to use this little baby today. I love it. I look at it. <laughs> My baby blue comes next week. Roz, you ordered one, yes. So here's the deal about the Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. The deal is that the only way you can get it beginning on January 5th is to join Stampin' Up! And there's gonna be a great joining promotion to become a demonstrator. Um, to get what I call is the ultimate bundle. You know how we love the bundles of the stamp sets with dies or punches, and there's always a discount. The, the joining special, the starter kit, is the ultimate bundle because you get, normally you get $125 worth of product for $99. Um, but the special with the Boho Blue Machine, I... I'm going to have to look back. I'm going to have to learn it. Um, but it's at least that much, if not more, that you get to choose. It I, it really definitely is the ultimate bundle that you're going to want. Now, so starting January 5th, if you get the starter kit and you'll want to get it with me, of course, because I love you all and I'd love to have any of you on my team. And so there's a little link. Um, up above or below, depending on your if you're on Facebook or um, YouTube, on how to join my team. Do not click the link until January 5th because you're going to want to get the special and you're going to want to get this adorable little baby, this little boho blue machine. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Anyway, it's fabulous. You're going to want... Oh, I know the other thing I was going to get say. Okay, so if you are already a demonstrator, and I wanted to encourage some of you that might be demonstrators, like Roz just mentioned. Um, hello, Margaret. Good to see you. Marsha, it is an amazing deal. It really is. But if you are a demonstrator currently, you will not be able to get this beginning January 5th. The only way to get it is to buy it now before January 5th, up until January 4th. So if you're a demonstrator and you've been thinking about it, get it now because January 5th, the minute that comes, only new um, new members, new, new demonstrators, people who get the starter kit are the only ones who can get this adorable little boho machine. I think I'll just call it the boho, the little boho because it's so darling. So I just had to show you that and we are gonna use it in a little while. Okay, um, do you need a catalog? These are the two catalogs. Um, Celebration is, is starting on January 5th, which is our big sale, free products with minimum purchase, and this is the new mini catalog. If you don't have them and you want them, email me, Peggy, at prettypapercards.com, but leave me your address because I won't be able to send it to you if you don't give me your address. Okay, I have so much to show you this today. I've gotten more new stuff because you know as demos we can do a pre-order and I just I do one pre-order and then I think I need some I need that other thing I need that other thing so I've gotten more stuff <laughs> this is a celebration set you know what I think I'll turn you down because I want you to really be able to look and see these things that I'm going to show you here okay this is a, a celebration set I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see called Sending Support. You'll get it free with a $50 order. And I I snagged that this time. Fabulous, uh, supportive sentiments. Okay, here's one I really wanted. I know some people do like birds and some people, some people like bird cards and some people don't. I happen to really like, yes, great catalog. Cindy, good, order that. Allison, good to see you. So this is one of the new stamp sets in the new catalog, Nested Friends. And we almost always have a bird set, and I almost always buy it because I love birds. I will say I really like this bird nest, and I'm going to put the bird up a little closer because 
I love this bird. I think he or she is very, very sweet. And I like the sentiments too. I especially like that thank you sentiment. And the nested friends bundle comes with a really nice set of dies, a branch and some different, um, I'll have to play with these and see just what they do. It even has eggs. Cute, right? Okay. And then another new one that I really had wanted to get and I just had to get is this one called Best Day. Have you guys seen this? Some people are calling it the Fat Cat Set. I'm not all that thrilled about the cat in the cupcake, but what I do love is the birthday cake. We all need to send birthday cards, and I think this is just a cute birthday cake. So I couldn't resist making a card right away. You know, some of them, some new sets you just love and you have to make a, a set right away. Ooh, boho blue eggs, raw is a great idea. Anyway, so I made this cute card already because I just thought it was so adorable. You know how I love this little um, fun fold? We, I've done it with you several times. And I just thought it would highlight the cake so well. So I've used, um, here I've used uh, Orchid Oasis, one of our colors that's new this year, and Daffodil Delight. And then this background paper, this is a cute little stamp in the set, these little squiggles. Party, party hoo-ha. And this paper is from, it's from the On the Farm, the new celebration On the Farm paper. So anyway, I just had to show you that because I think it's so cute. Those are new items. Okay, now, another new item. And we're going to use this today. This is the beautiful Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. You guys, it's gorgeous. It's right in the front of the catalog. It's with the Valentine set, and it's beautiful. Okay. This one we're going to use today, this piece of paper, we're going to use this set today and we're going to use this paper and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, but I wanted to show you, I know I've shown you before, but I wanted to show you all the different sides of it. And we're going to use this one too. And the back of this is one of my favorites. Look at those little bicycles. Are those not adorable? And I guess I should have turned this sideways because those hearts are super cute. And then I noticed there's a lot of petal pink <clears throat> this spring, and that's good. I love petal pink. It's a beautiful color. Um, here's another paper, more petal pink little hearts. Here's that blue again. And here is this one I really like too. I think this is really pretty. And the back is some blue, um, that's balmy blue hearts. So this is the beautiful Country Floral Lane paper. And while I'm talking about the paper, you all know that I'm doing a paper share. You should know, and I want to remind you that I'm doing a paper share. Um, and the last day to order, I even put it here on my scratch paper, um, is the Country Floral Lane is your favorite, Carol, in the whole catalog. It should be, really. It's it's amazing. So I'm going to take a little a little sip of my drink. I have a little Perrier um, kind of raspberry bubble today. Just take a little drink of that. I don't have it in a fancy glass. Usually I have it in a fancy mug or something to show you. Okay, so I'm doing paper shares. I do them every time we have a new catalog. What it means is if you purchase, um, I'm doing product shares, a paper share is you, you get one quarter of all the 14 new designer series papers in the new catalog. And that's called a paper share. It means you're sharing with everybody else. So when I get four people who sign up, boom, I buy a pack of paper. I buy one pack of each of the 14 and I cut them and split them all up. I cut them six by six and send them out to you. And I'm also doing a ribbon share. And so the details are on my blog and I have the link to the detail page right here above or below, depending on if you're on YouTube or Facebook. 
um, there, I have a special form that you fill out to reserve. I'll send the invoices on January 1st. I'll send you a PayPal invoice, and you need to pay by the 4th. And the paper share is $50. And then the ribbon share, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six ribbons this year in the spring catalog, but they are gorgeous. And so the ribbon share is 20. If you want both, it's 70, and I will send you an assortment of celebration papers also as my gift to you. And then a $10 shipping fee. So let me know pretty quick because I'm going to start sending the invoices out on Sunday. But I would love for you, I get my own paper, sh paper shares <laughs> and ribbon shares. I do because I need a little bit of every one. So I get them too. And I think, I think it would be good for you to get it. Okay, and then a reminder that the 4th is also the last day to order the retiring products from the Holiday Mini. And there are a lot of adorable, adorable um, products in here that I am even crying about the fact that they're retiring, like the ginger the gingerbread house that gingerbread set was so cute and the Christmas Scotty oh my gosh I mean it makes me really want to cry they're so cute so just a reminder you only have until January 4th so um, get any of those that you want before they retire some things are on sale some things are not but they're the majority of them are retiring and if you want to know which ones aren't there's a list of that too and I can if you email me I can point you to that list okay are you ready for a project today with the country floral set? Here is the card we're going to make today, mostly because I want to show you some of these beautiful new products. This card is just a, a standard card, okay, but it uses the stamp set, the paper, the punch, and another, another new die set. So let me show you the stamp set close up. Here it is, country bouquet. And it does all this stamping. It has great sentiments. The one I chose today was, I love that we are friends. You know, that's a general sentiment that you can use for any time. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. And there's just wanted to say, I love you with love. So very cute. This makes a beautiful floral heart. But the thing I especially love about this bundle, look at this super cute punch. The country bouquet punch a big heart a small heart and two leaves one on each side and i'm going to show you how to use this with the paper today okay now in addition maybe you were wondering how did i make that fun label and that is what i want to show you this label with the flowers on the left and the right okay i was really excited to get this in fact someone had to point out to me because I wasn't I this is the stamp set it's called sentimental parks it's part of the bundle and I thought okay it's good it's a good stamp set but it didn't make me like jump but the coordinating dies make me jump these dies are so nice this is the one we're going to use today and so here are the flowers it cuts out the flowers on the top and on the bottom and then it also has a larger that's kind of the smaller one I showed you that we're going to use today but look at this larger label die and it so it cuts the label out and cuts all the flowers and I think it's beautiful then here's just a, a label without flowers then you have multitude of flowers and they've got duplicates for us on many so that when we run it through our boho blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine we don't have to run it through as many times because we have duplicate dies of the different flowers isn't that a beautiful set so we're going to use this little cute label today so let's get started on our card and I've kind of pre-cut some things because I wanted to spend a little time showing you how to how to use the punch Okay, so we'll start out with our standard um, eight and a half by five and a half card base, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll just burnish that uh, score line, which was already scored. Now I've pre-cut the papers, and what I've done, this 
This is that top paper that I showed you from the designer series paper. The back, you know, I always say this. I always love, there are some of the sheets in a designer series paper where I just love the front and the back. And I'm so disappointed that it's not one of the sides isn't a paper that I don't really love. But you know, they always do this. Thank you, Anne. That's so sweet. It is a beautiful set, Marsha. So this color that's in here is the Sweet Sorbet, our new Sweet Sorbet. So what I've done is this piece here is cut at five and a quarter by four. But as I've been doing recently, I just added one eighth of an inch around to give just a little bit of a, a, just a bit of a frame because I think it really sets it off. For example, let's try it this way. I'll show you right here. Okay, that looks nice, right? But look at how pretty pretty it is when you add that little bit of a frame. Doesn't that just look better? I don't know, maybe you can't notice, but that's what I think. I just love that one half inch, or one eighth inch frame. Now, again, I just hate to cover up this beautiful paper. I think I'm gonna have to order a whole bunch of packs of this paper just for myself because I know I'm gonna use a lot of it. All right, so we're just gonna glue that down and then we're ready to adhere this to the front of our card. So what we're doing, we're really focusing today on designer series paper. What I wanted, I wanted to do is just show you um, all that you can do with our beautiful designer series paper. So, trying to get that even there, okay. And the next piece is the this pretty uh, blue stripe. The back is the bicycles. And this is three by four and a quarter and then a piece of sweet sorbet that is just one eighth of an inch larger. Again, on just, so this is, this one is three by four and a quarter. So it would just add an eighth, three and an eighth by four and three eighths, I guess it would be. I'm just gonna pick this up because I can, I like being able to slide it a little bit and see if I can get it a little more even. Okay, <clears throat> and then we're all ready. We're just going to adhere this with dimensionals right in the center. So this really highlights two beautiful uh, pieces of the designer series paper. This uh, red striped one, the sweet sorbet stripe, I think looks kind of like a candy store, don't you? Almost candy cane-ish. It's very beautiful. It could have worked for Christmas, I think. And so I'm just going to put this right in the center and then we'll work on our frame and our dot and our hearts. Okay, so we want to get this as much in the center as we can. There we go. And let me just get these little dimensional backs off here, out of here. Because sure enough, if I leave one, then it gets trapped somewhere in my card. I don't know if that happens to you. All right, so the first thing we'll do, I have a scrap of basic white uh, cardstock, and I'm going to put our sentiment on there in the Sweet Sorbet ink. And I want to put it, I know this is going to be wide enough for my frame. Here's my frame die right here, and I know that's going to work. So I want to try to get my sentiment right in the center there. And it says, I love that we are friends. I have several friends that I would like to send this card to. I love that we are friends, just for no occasion, right? Okay, so let me get it so that you can see what I'm doing here. It's a good stamp. It's a photopolymer stamp. It's clear. You can see through. Um, and I, I like the font. I really like that font. All right, now we can bring up our little boho baby. That's a cute name, boho baby. And it just opens up exactly like our other one. That's only about the second time I've opened it. And of course it comes with new plates because it's new. And so that's always nice to have new plates. 
And actually what I think I'll do here is trim this off a little bit. That's a little bit long. So I can run it through the machine. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to put this uh, die over. I'm going to try to center it, the sentiment in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Put our plate over it. Here we go. It's so fun to have a blue one, to have something different than white. Very fun. Okay, so here's our here's our darling frame now. Isn't that isn't that just cute? Isn't that just adorable? And so I have a, a few little dots that I have to poke out there. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to adhere this right in the center again of um, of our framed blue piece balmy blue and I'm going to do that with just a couple of dimensionals. I'm going to raise that up and we'll just put this little cute frame and then we're going to do some decorating. You know I don't know about you but I always I work so hard to put that on and think it's perfect and then I'll go back and look at it later and I'm like that isn't exactly perfect. It's a little crooked on the right. It's a little crooked on the left. You like the red frame, happy mail. This is gonna be happy mail, I'm telling you. Okay, now we're gonna learn how to use this, uh, this punch. Now, of course, you can just regularly use it, but what I wanted to highlight was the fact that the Designer Series paper has patterns that fit this punch exactly. And that's what you saw on my card and I kind of wanted to show you how to do it. So what you want to do is you can see on the punch the large heart, small heart, and two leaves, one on the right and one on the left. So that's what I'm looking for and they're all the same pattern. Some of them, I don't have a, a full one here, but some of the leaves are this light, um, almost a mint macaron color. I think that might be mint macaron. But I purposely pulled a piece where it had the, um, I'm not sure what this color is. It, it could be uh, Evening Evergreen, I'm not sure. But I purposely pulled a piece that had that, those color leaves. So you wanna cut a little bit wide around that, just like that. And then we're gonna need to put it in here. But it's hard to put it in because you've cut so close and so your fingers, um, it's hard to get it just so. So I want to show you the little trick for that. And here's the little trick. I have just a little piece, a little strip of cardstock, or you can use anything. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of my stamp and seal plus on there, just the littlest bit, right on the edge. And then I'm going to adhere it. Some of you might know this. I'm just going to adhere it. Whoops, maybe my stamp and seal plus didn't get on there. Okay, now it's on for sure. I'm just going to adhere it onto the back at the top of my design. And I know it's not straight, we don't care. But this becomes like a handle that then, let me turn it so I can do it. Um, we can slide this in and position it correctly because otherwise it's pretty hard to slide in. Okay, now I'm seeing that this is not allowing me to go all the way down in the punch, so I'm going to trim this end off without cutting the heart there. It just had a little point. So now I can put it down in there. Can you guys see that? You see how it's fitting in just right? And I just move it around just the way I want until I think it's pretty balanced in there and then punch and everything punches out. Now the only the only thing is that behind the large heart you still have this little piece of your basic white cardstock but I just actually I think I can just pull it off. I put I usually put a little less of the seal on there but okay great worked perfect. 
So these are my little pieces. Here are my two leaves and my two hearts. Pretty clever, huh? I learned that from somebody else and I always like to teach it because that way you know what to do when you're not sitting there struggling trying to manipulate a little piece that's way in there. This way you have that little handle on there. And isn't that just super cute? I love the way this cuts. <clears throat> Thank you, Marsha. Okay, so now we're just going to put this on, put our little pieces on here, and let's put this heart up on a dimensional. I'm going to put the dimensional kind of up at the top of the heart because I want it to cover, to come down onto the label just like that. I think that's pretty cute. And then for this heart, for the little petal pink heart, I'm just actually going to put a dot of glue under there and glue it to the actual label. That, then it will be raised up on its, it'll just stay raised up on its own. I don't need a dimensional for that. Let me get a little bit more glue. So that gives you, you've got flowers, one on the left and the right, one cluster, and you've got a heart on the left and the right. It kind of makes it balanced, don't you think? And then we'll take our little leaves. And what I'm going to do actually is just, this This is all raised up, so I'm just going to glue the leaves and tuck them down under there. So all we do is tuck it under, it just slides right under there. And then this one, you really can't tell, I personally can't tell the top of the leaf from the bottom. Um, maybe some of the rest of you can give us hints, but when you get your set, but I, I wasn't able to tell. So we'll just angle that a little bit. Isn't that just cute? Now, for the final little thing is we're going to add some embellishments. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these iridescent pearls. I love these pearls. And I have already started coloring them with a sweet sorbet. I use the dark sweet sorbet stamp and blend. And that's one reason I like the iridescent pearls, because you can just color them. You take the brush end and just go around, just like that. And they dry pretty quick. I've got these two that were already colored, so I'll start with those. Whoops. And they're self-adhesive, so that's good. I'll put that one there. They're just hopping around, aren't they? Put one there. We want to have three, so I'll take one of the freshly colored ones. And let's see, how about right over here? And even the one that's colored just a minute, a second ago, it didn't even come off on my fingers. Doesn't that make just the sweetest card? I really like it. And now we're going to just put a little something something inside of our card. One, one of the stamps, it has great stamps. Let me show you, highlight some of them. So you've got an open heart. You've got a kind of a filled in heart, but the pattern looks just like what we just cut out. It has some lines going across and a little shading. You've got another heart. You've got two little hearts together that are open and two little hearts together that are closed in addition to different two different leaves and these two that go one on top of the other to make a complete floral heart so i chose the hearts that are the filled in hearts the little tiny filled in hearts to do our the inside of our card and i think this stamp could be used a lot Oops, that didn't come out too good. A little boo-boo there, so that's easy enough. We'll put another heart right over it. There we go. That's not too bad. And then let's grab our envelope and put some hearts on our envelope. Just like that. We could put more hearts. I mean, who doesn't love hearts? Isn't that just cute? I like the color Sweet Sorbet. It's um, not as bright as Real Red, not as deep as Cherry Cobbler. 
it's it's just a real nice kind of a modern red and I think that's a pretty cute a pretty cute card I had fun making it it was a snap to make and I wanted to show you guys you know the set plus I wanted to show you these sentimental park dies if you get you know anything get these dies because I think we're going to use these labels a lot I know that I am okay let's come back and we will award our prize so the prize from last week was the um, gold adhesive back swirls that are no longer available but I snagged a bunch I think I've given them all away and um, the random number generator uh, chose Ann Sawson. I haven't seen Ann on here today, but um, she does, she's sometimes on YouTube. So Ann, I'm pretty sure I have your address. It doesn't hurt to email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, um, just to confirm. And I will get these out to you. And I'm glad you got some because they're not available anymore. Okay, you guys, the prize for next week. I'm... I found this in my stash. I had gotten these, but never opened them. They are mini embossing folders for the mini machine. And they're from the annual catalog, so nothing about retiring at this point. It's called the Wintry 3D Embossing Folders. I'll put it up close so you can see. And you can find it in the uh, annual catalog at the back under embossing folders. They are super cute. It's a $10 value. So put the word prize if you want these embossing folders and I will give them away on January 5th. Ja no, 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 wait. January 6th will be the next day. That the next Friday will be January 6th. Okay, so don't forget about the paper shares. You're going to want those paper shares and those ribbon shares. And I need to have your money and your reservation right away because the last day to register is the 4th. And I would love for you to get those shares. I'm going to have a lot of fun cutting that paper and everything. So thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And 